Hi everyone, my name is David Ely. I wanted to just throw together a quick little video using Apple's Clips to tell you about a project I'm going to be working on over the summer. It's what I'm going to call the mild-mannered edition of the Fleischer Superman cartoons. For a few years, starting in 1941, Fleischer Studios and later Famous Studios made 17 of these just amazing short Superman movies. They have been incredibly influential. You might notice in this clip how it influenced a lot of the look of the 1990s Batman animated series. That series also featured cool title cards like the Superman cartoons did. Something I really like about these cartoons is that they're an early Superman from not long after he was created. So you just get him doing Superman things in kind of a simple, neat way. You just get Superman fighting robots, beating up dinosaurs, stopping speeding hijacked locomotives, saving a village from a volcano, and of course, fighting racist caricatures of the Japanese. Part of the history of these cartoons is that Fleischer Studios went out of business. And when it did, although DC Comics and eventually Warner Brothers came to own Superman, these particular cartoons entered the public domain. So that means no one owns them. In fact, we own them. Any of us are free to make copies of them, share them around, put them online, watch them, enjoy them, do anything we want with them. But a consequence of that is that there's no one true version of the films, unlike a major studio movie where there's a studio that's in charge of it. These movies are just kind of out there and anyone can do anything they want with them. And that has some virtues, but it also has some problems. And one of those problems is that there are a bunch of different versions out there and not all of them are of great quality. A few years ago, Warner Home Video released new editions of these and they redid the colors and they look really good. And I'll show you a couple comparisons between some of the older versions and what Warner's new version looks like. Here's a little bit from the Bosco Video edition of these movies. I actually think they've done a really good job. The movies are all complete. Um, but you'll notice at the very beginning there was a burned in title that showed the date the movie was released. And while it's interesting to know when the movie was released, it shouldn't be burned onto the video. It's metadata. It shouldn't be part of the picture itself. Now you notice the colors maybe look a little bit washed out. I'll show you in a second more from their intro. Um, and you'll see that Superman kind of looks dark. And then we'll see the brighter version from Warner Brothers. And then here's the Warner, looks a little bit brighter. Superman's definitely red and blue. Uh, here's again the Bosco. Superman looks a little bit dark. There's not much detail on the rocks and trees. And there's the nicely cleaned up version, and it looks really good. Uh, Warner's did a great job with it. The next one is Superman fighting a panther in Terran Midway. I include this one just because I think it's kind of funny that it has Superman fighting circus animals. But you can see, there's just, you can't see a lot of the detail. And then Warner's has cleaned it up some, and now you get to see a little bit more of Superman's bright cape and the shadows on the panther. Uh, so that's all great. Warner Brothers did a wonderful job restoring the colors, and it looks really good. But there are some problems with that set. There are a few times when the audio syncing doesn't match up with the video. And there's a lot of videos where the intro that's on the Warner Home Video edition isn't the correct introduction. For example, Jungle Drums is supposed to have this faster than the streak of lightning, more powerful than the pounding surf intro. Uh, but the Warner Home Video edition, for whatever reason, uses the standard origin story uh, intro instead, which isn't accurate to what the film was supposed to have. So that's where I come in. In the spirit of Harmony's despecialized editions of Star Wars, I'm going to go through all the different versions of these movies that I can find and cut them together so that we have one really good complete version of each of the 17 films. They're all going to be in standard definition, kind of DVD quality video, because that's the best available that I can find. I don't have access to the original film, uh, so I can't do any real film restoration. But what I can do is put together what's out there into one comprehensive, nice edition of these movies. I'm going to do one a week. I'll be re releasing them on the website, and I hope you enjoy them. So if you like them, please tell your friends, share the video, like the video, and come back each week all summer for the mild-mannered edition of the Fleischer Superman cartoons.